What you guys got another video windows home users need this software if you have a windows 11 or windows 10 home then this piece of software is really going to help you out so go to your windows settings and then go into system go down to about and if you go in here it will tell you what version of windows you've got if you've got windows 11 home or windows 10 home then obviously you're not going to have the group policy editor which is going to allow you to make policy changes on your PC, which means you can lock down certain features that you're not using. So if you go into your search and you type GPO, this will also tell you that you don't have group policy editor installed on that system because it's an own version. You're going to need Windows 11 or Windows 10 Pro or above to have the group policy editor installed. But this is where the policy plus comes in. Now policy plus is an alternative to group policy editor but it has all the same features as Group Policy Editor, and it will allow you to make group policy changes to that PC and remove some of the stuff that you're not interested in, like location or privacy settings or telemetry and things like that. So once you get the installation downloaded from GitHub, you'll see this window pop up saying, uh, Welcome to Policy Plus. It's going to ask you to download all of these policies that will be on this little box here. It's going to ask to download these from the required location, which is off of Microsoft's website. So all you need to do here is basically choose your destination folder and click begin. And it's gonna go ahead and download all of these straight from Microsoft. So this is a much better way of doing things rather than using the uh, dodgy group policy editor uh, version that have been floating around on the internet for many years. That doesn't really work properly. Whereas this actually works as GPO or group policy editor was meant to work. You can see here, we have all of our group policies inside here, which we can apply to this computer, which means if there is telemetry or privacy concerns or things like that in here that you want to disable, you can use this program to basically disable all these. Even if you're using Windows 11 Home or Windows 10 Home, you'll be able to use Policy Plus to be able to do this. As you can see, here's the location right here. These are all your privacy policies, which you can actually turn off. You can enable this feature and go into here and put false deny. And this will then completely lock down those settings and stop Microsoft harvesting data from your computer. So this is just one place where you can go and uh, lock these systems down by using the group policy editor like this. And again, there is tons of places inside here which you can edit. And I've made videos on this in the past, and I will make a full tutorial on which policies you should be uh, disabling to protect your privacy. So this is Policy Plus, and you don't have to upgrade or do any of that stuff uh, to the Pro version. Policy Plus is free to use, and it's a safe way of uh, editing policies on your PC. But if you want to use the official Group Policy Editor, from Microsoft, then what you need to do is you'll need to get a generic key off of say 11forum.com. You can use the Windows 11 Pro generic key to upgrade to the Pro version. You will then need to buy a Pro key and I'll show you that process in a second. But first off, let's go to start and then settings and go up to where it says system and then go to activation. You should see here, uh, the Windows 11 Home is on this PC, as I've already shown you. So let's go to System and then Activation. And what we're going to do is change the product key here. And we're going to use the generic Pro key to upgrade. Now, this will not activate the version of Windows that you're on because it is a generic key which is supplied by Microsoft. So you can uh, uh, upgrade and do things like this. So what we're going to do here is upgrade the system. And you can see it is upgrading our computer from Windows 11 Home to Windows 11 Pro. That's all you need to do. And then you can go and purchase yourself a Pro key for a pretty cheap price. And then you will be able to activate that version of Windows. And I'll show you that process in a second once this is done. So now we've got the upgrade done. All we need to do here now is restart the PC. And our PC will then be running Windows 11 uh, Pro. So I'm just going to restart the system here. This is normal because it needs to add in some new features that we've just upgraded to, which is on the pro version. And you can see it's adding those features in right now. So bear in mind, whether you want to use the policy plus version 
or if you want to upgrade to Windows 11 Pro or Windows 10 Pro, you can use this method as well, depending on what way you want to go about doing it. So let this finish off, restart the system once more, and it will then boot to the desktop and I'll show you where you can get your product key. So let's go ahead and let this boot back up. And there we are, successfully upgraded to uh, Windows 11 Pro. And if we go into start and go settings here, you can now see that when we go here on the system settings and go down to where it says about, you can see we're on Windows 11 Pro uh, workstation. It doesn't matter if it says workstation there. When I put the Pro key in, it will go to Windows 11 Pro, as you'll see in a second. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and we're going to try to activate this version. But I just want to quickly show you, we do now have the group policy editor because we've upgraded to the Pro version of Windows. But you will need to activate this version because your home key will not activate on versions of Windows 11 Pro or Windows 10 Pro. This is where the sponsor CD Key Sales comes in, where you can head over to there, use the links in the video description, and purchase yourself a Windows 11 Pro key. So click on this one here, and once you set up your account, you can use my promo code, and I'll show you how to do that right here. So I've got an account set up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on the uh, buy now option. So you can see this is the Windows 11 Pro OEM key, global lifetime uh, activation, and click on the buy now. And this is where we can add the promo code in to get a 30% discount. So let's go ahead and put that in here. Put capital B, capital R, 09, and apply this to your order. And you will see a massive deduction in price. Once you've got that done, all you need to do now is submit your order. And you can pay by PayPal as well. And what you need to do here is click Submit and choose PayPal and Buy Now. And this will then buy and send it to your account. Once they give you the key, you will then be able to head over to the activation center in Windows, change product key once more, and then put in your key that you've just purchased from CD Key Sales. And you can then apply this. So what we're going to do is click Next here. And you'll see that this will activate our version of Windows. So let's go ahead and click on Next. And it will say Activate Windows. Click on Activate. And this will activate your version of Windows. And there you go. We are now activated. And once that's done, you're up to Windows 11 Pro. Or you'll be up to Windows 10 Pro, depending on which way you want to go about uh, activating your version of Windows. So that is the CD key sales, and that is where you can get your keys and upgrade to Windows 11 Pro, or you can use the uh, Policy Plus for free if you want to. It's entirely up to you. Anyway, but that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support, and I shall catch you in the next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server. Bye for now.